Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, we're on the air, and welcome to the J-Peak Ice House uh, here in J. Vermont. Game three of the Green Mountain Avalanche tournament for the Manchester Flamesters. They're set to take on the Woosocket North Stars. Both teams need a win here today. You're definitely guaranteed a fourth game, but there is only one championship, and either team needs to win here today to even have a chance at getting the championship to the championship game. Then they have a consolation, two consolation games, the third and fourth place game, and then, not a th sorry, not two, and they have a fifth place. So they only have one consolation game. Flames right out of the gun here. Maurice just couldn't get a handle on that puck. Now Maurice again sliding it up front. Pops back to the line. Grunwald had to go over his stick. And Woodstock will come away. They are wearing red coming from left to right. Flames are wearing white for the first time of the tournament. They're going from right to left. Buck played up the middle. Skipped over the stick of Dermody. Smithers is back. Took a stick from behind. And had the puck roll away from him. Right in front of the Flames bench. Woodstock will make their entry. But they are offside at the line. 12 minute periods. Uh, here in J, we're underway in the first between the North Stars and the Flames. Five six to take to draw. And it was a tie-up. It came back for Murphy on defense. He's been playing four over the past two games. Murphy will circle, bank it off the wall, intercepted over there, intended for Kylie. Chipped right back in, up and uh, out of the bench. Uh, so it never actually made it in. Uh, not sure if it hit a player for the Flames of the Venture. Now I know it's hurting off it, of course. Uh, so we'll do it again. Uh, this time another tie-up. It comes to the red line. And that miscommunication. Kylie jumping all over it. Here he comes. Braden Kylie airing it high. He was all tied up from behind, too. Now on behind the net. Riccio has a rebound. Center back in front. Feisig with a shot. He scores. Jaden Fleisick right out of the bat, chips it home after a good look by Ryan Riccio behind the net. The Flames are out, and they are up uh, one to nothing. They lead it. Uh, 61 seconds in, uh, Ryan Riccio finds Jaden Fleisick. Uh, Face-off win for Jaden. Murphy swirling, banks it off the wall, looking for Riccio, too far ahead of him. Uh, this is Jaden Feising again. The goal scorer ambles in on the left side. On the wall now, Riccio and Murphy. Riccio looking to go down low for Feising. Now it's Murphy. He's got space with Kylie in front. He tried to give it to him. He did. Kylie with a shot. Save is made with a blocker. Buck still loose in front. Kylie dragged around a man. Feising is alone. Just couldn't get that puck from skate to stick. Flames showing promise here. Murphy steps up to poke that puck away. It took an 8 nothing beating this morning from the Connecticut Junior Huskies who have won each and every one of their games thus far. Uh, dumped in by the North Stars. This is, might go for icing. The arm is up and the whistle has blown. No play all the way back. Uh, so here's the story for either squad. Uh, Flames have played twice. They beat the Connecticut Chiefs. Uh, Last night, uh, last after, yesterday afternoon, by a score of three nothing, and lost this morning by a score of eight to nothing to UConn Junior Huskies. Uh, Woonsocket lost uh, six to nothing or eight to nothing versus uh, Huskies as well, uh, and beat the Junior Bruins yesterday. Also, they played two yesterday, uh, so they're fresh, uh, having not played a game so far this afternoon. Uh, but here's the deal. I mentioned the two eight nothing losses. Yes, we have two deals. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Uh -huh. I mentioned the two eight nothing losses, but they're not recorded as eight nothing. They're recorded as six nothing because there can be no deficit greater than six in a game. Here comes Cox moving in. Cox with space. He had Bless on his offside, and it just rolls away from him. And all the way back down. Lusakin on their heels early, and another icing is called against the North Stars. They seem a bit confused about it. Uh, one nothing Flames. They have the offensive zone draw to the left of the red crease. Dermody tied his man up. Scoop to the corner. Dermody with Smithers waiting in front. Dermody. 
couldn't get the puck free there. He had two men on him and no help. Uh, Maurice now pickpockets his man. Sam Maurice looking to drag around one. Got in. Comes back out. Grumwald trying to poke it back, although they're offside. They being the Flames, of course. Uh, Harry Dermody uh, won the faceoff back to Elliot Grunwald. He'll take it himself, left side and in. Grunwald stopping up. Uh, yet Smethurst at the line instead just goes back in deep for Dermody, who took the pass from Maurice there. It's actually for Maurice, and then Dermody, he's on behind now. Dermody with Maurice in the slot. Grunwald also calling for it. He's the one that gets it. Elliot Grunwald, nice drag move. It just escaped him, though, as he lost his stick, and the puck will escape the zone. Grumwell back for it, no stick, so it's going to traverse all the way back into the Flames end. Alex Pelletier ran into some trouble as he held on to it just a bit too long, still trying to force his way up the right wall. Now it's Harry Dermody. Flames will come away on a line rush. Dermody up and ahead, Smithers back for Dermody, they got run into. Dermody coming in, never really got a shot away, slid it on goal, and the goaltender made the stop. Woodstock is behind. Murphy stepping up to hold this puck in off the wall. Here's Murphy in deep. Smithers in front. He tried to send it to him. Goes back to the line for Young. Young goes far side. Dermody playing it off the boards. Uh, losing as he tried to take it in deeper on a breakout pass for Woodstock. It's uh, right back on the stick of Murphy. Bounce pass Maurice. Uh, Good pick it up. Uh, in neutral territory again. Riccio in, Fysik now took a hit from McGill there. Unable to get a shot between the hashes in that high rent area. Young shot tipped out of the air by Wumsaka. In the corner for Fysik. He's got it. Jaden Fysik back in low, covered well by Dugan. Riccio on behind. He looked to center it. Murphy and Kylie were both in the area. Ends up being the North Stars who take it. This puck gets behind Young and behind Murphy. And it's going to be a breakaway right now. Goal, they score! A bouncing puck that skipped over the stick of Caleb Young. And right to a wound socket player as he glided up and ahead. And a nice shot that beat Tristan Kerr on the breakaway, and it is a tie game at one. That's a tough one for the defensive pair, Murphy and Young. Young able to hold, Murphy taking it back there, and now we'll lose puck in front as Woonsocket coming on. I believe, I believe that was the first shot of the game that they've just scored on. Don't record beyond that, as here comes Bless. He's got Cox with him, and Bless decides to go with the shot. It was blocked aside. The two on one there. Spun back in front by Cox. He's been crunching down on the left wall by McGill. North Stars will take it. Uh, up the wall and on the stick of Hemingway. Drew Hemingway lofts it up. Noah Bless is in. He's got Baker. Pass was behind him, so he's forced to pursue it to the wall. Baker getting some help from Bless. It's Bless who take it. In deep for Cox. Uh, heavy work along the boards by either squad. Uh, good speed up the left side for the North Stars. They'll make their move to the middle and come in. Nice touch pass right inside that line. Here's some space. Uh, and a tee, a shot, they score! Too much time and space in the slot. I don't know where all the flames went. Well played rush and another shot. The third of the game. Beats Tristan Kerr. Uh, it might have been deflected in front. And Woonsocket has jumped out to a 2-1 lead in a heartbeat. And the Flames are in a stunned shock right now. Dermody looking to respond. Spinning it back in front for Smithurst. Uh, I really can't explain what just happened there. Well played rush. Uh, with the passing on the part of the North Stars as Dermody tries to do it himself. Uh, Dermody's still going on behind the goal. And somehow Drew Hemingway ended up being the only player stuck in front of Tristan Kerr. And here they come again. Potential two on one. Grumwald stepped up, knocked the puck away. Alex Pelletier will scoop it up and move it for Smithers. Wasn't in the right place at the right time. And it ends up back in the flame zone. 
the energy level has picked up so much since the first move socket goal. Grumwald takes a tumble after taking it himself all the way in. Maurice now up on the floor. Check can't find it in his skates. Grumwald still into the deep, the defenseman. And Pelletier's the only guy stuck back at the line. Grumwald just creeping back there now as Feisig will take the puck. Uh, on the stick of Smethers, rather not. Grumwald steps in a one. Blocked aside. Feisig on the rebound, swinging a mess. Uh, between the face-off circles, comes back for Pelletier. Pelletier along the ice. Maurice was digging in front. None of them could get a handle on it. Uh, the way comes Lopez for the North Stars. Pelletier forcing him to the outside. Took a stick to the midsection and held it there a bit too long. And it's going to be a penalty up coming to the Flames, no doubt. Uh, Alex Pelletier stuck his stick in the midsection in the wound socket player and held it there. Referee was able to condone it for a few seconds, but just a moment too long for Mr. Pelletier, and he's going to head to the sid bin here with his team trailing 2-1 to one with 4.16 left to go in period one. Boy, how the tides turn. Defensive zone draw for Manchester to the left of Tristan Kerr. Feisick won it. He's been strong under center to start here. Murphy will wrap it up the boards. Kylie's job is to get it out. He pokes it to the line. Held in. Good keep. Murphy's got some space. Uh, remember, you have the icing rule. So Murphy will kill some time here, spinning behind his cage. Murphy uh, still looking for a good outlet, and he's keep going back with it. Murphy a bunch of turns, and now Kylie's wide open right side. Braden Kylie and out. Jaden Fisick now. He's up and ahead, crossing in on the blue line. Fisick, Kylie, a straight kick to the goal. He'll get a backhand off after unable to really corral that puck. All those spins and turns by Murphy must have took 20 seconds, if not more, off the clock. Kylie's offside here. As Folsom, or rather Caleb Young, jumped the gun on the dump in. Both teams will make changes. I'll be those circles dangerous. They were effective in killing time. There, and Bless taking advantage of this puck with a shot. Save is made by the goaltender who looked frozen on that. Just ricocheted off his pads. He didn't even move. Digging in deep, Riccio, he'll do the dirty work for the Flames. One-on-one -on -one down low. Now a Woonsocka player joining in, Bless contemplating it. Riccio now will come free to the opposite corner. Riccio still, he's trying to find a lane. Bless is following him just up and ahead there. And now we'll find Bless between the hashes, or rather near that far hash mark. He flubbed the backhand shot on goal, which was gobbled up. Six seconds remaining in the pique for the Manchester Flames and the power play for the Woonsocka North Stars. Off the draw, the tie up, Cox pushed it to the corner after Baker did a good job on that face off. He's a wing. Baker now parked in front of the goal, Cox trying to send it to him. Manchester getting some good offensive zone time on the penalty kill, which is now over. Uh, Bless joins the play as it comes back for Hemingway now. Hemingway, spinning shot by Bless, he scores! Didn't look like it was gonna go in originally. Noah Bless just whacks that puck home. He finds it on his stick. After it bounced off of quite a few, I think Hemingway might have been the feeder. There were three flames in the slot. It was Hemingway who got the whack at it and spun it into the Far corner of the net, and this game is tied. Woodsocket back the other way. Hard shot saved by Kerr. Woodsocket has not had many shots. I think they scored on half of them. That might be their fourth. I know I keep counting after every shot, but it seems like there's not been a lot. Not very accurate in my counting. Hamill back here, no icing. Maurice jumping up there. Ends up on the stick of Germany. Here's Harry Germany. Smithhurst now. He'll go into the corner, spinning back in front for Dermody. Went off a stick hit in front of the cage and is chopped down the ice by Woonsocket. This will be an icing. Grumwald's got a guy on his back. Uh, but nonetheless, the play will come back here with 1.48 to go in a 2-2 tie.
I do have a bit of a media note uh, here in RBC Sports. The last game this morning. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, first of all, let me let me start from the beginning. There are two microphone jacks, uh, or there are two jacks. Uh, there's a backhand comes towards the goal. Uh, this has got the rebound. There are two, okay, hold on. Maurice scores! Another spinning shot. Uh, that was plenty of daylight for Sam Maurice, and he knocks it home. From a fair distance out there, there are plenty of players standing, trying to block the path, but at least just a seeing eye shot really just spun into the back of the net and the Flames have taken the lead here late. As I was saying, that goal is far more important than my story by the way. <laughs> a quick, not so quick game note that might be have to be on pause again here as Germany comes away. Smithhurst. Murphy wasn't sure if he wanted to take it, he will now. He'll go up. Maurice was flying ahead. Thinking Murphy might take it himself. He did. He moved it up for Maurice. It ends up now on the stick of Smithers. Smithers back in front for Maurice. He's got it now and plays it off the pad. So the goaltender save was made. Smithers got leveled. Puck still loose between the hash marks, and there'll be the penalty there on the hit on Smithers. So the Flames will end to the power player 52.2 seconds to go. Now I have time for my story. I'm so excited to tell my story. <laughs> um, there are two microphone jacks, and not microphone jacks. There are two just jacks in my camera. One for the headphones and one for the microphone. And uh, I plugged the mic cord into the headphone jack. So there was no microphone on last broadcast. I do apologize that. It is a kind of a rocky ambient sound. Shots rejected by Hemingway. Riccio was lurking there, though he's just going to get a stick on it. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a rocky game to listen to because it's not a controlled sound climate. It does get loud in here. And the ice house with these reflected ceilings. Dugan to center. Folsom forcing him. Dugan got free. Going straight to the goal. That shot's locked by Kerr. Waited right behind him again. Comes back to the line. Shot is through and right on. And Kerr made the save. Back into the corner for Hemingway. Fysik now, and away will come the Flames up to center with some space on the left side. This is Riccio, he'll step in, Kylie goes to the cage, Riccio outside, behind the goal, rounding the wagons, Riccio center, right on the doorstep, and Kylie couldn't knock it home. Everyone crowding in the blue paint on the doormat there. One second left to play in the period, and that, the horn. Flames are 38 seconds left to go in their power play, they struck first. Trailed 2-1 and now back out in front 3-2 as we head to the middle frame. 